and wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Hello? Hey, yeah, Sophie. Ho hold on one second. Hey, Sophie, how's it going? Yeah, how, how's how's a done this? A done this? Um, a dandy? A, a, a Adion? I did How's he? A diddle diddle? I don't know. What's his name? How's he doing? Okay. All right. All right. Now you, you you're living great. Yeah, I, I bet you are. <laughs> you had a baby with Drake, and you had to cover it up for all these years. I tell you, you know what? He he still needs to see his son though. That's very very important. You don't care. What? Oh, because you get paid. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. But but still, he should be in his father's life. Drake father left at five. When when Drake was five, his father left. Yes, absolutely. So I think Drake should you know try to show his father an example of what he should be. Oh, I know you got a Porsche. I know you got... I, I don't doubt you got a Ferrari. I mean, come on. He went ahead and bought 21 Savage a Ferrari, so I know he's going to buy you a Ferrari. Yeah! <laughs> you know what? L listen, I just wanted to call up Sophie and check on you. I know you ain't got to dance some more. You you make money moves. You ain't got to dance. You make money moves. When when people see you in the street, just say... I, I don't know how the words go, but I just know you living good. Okay. All right, so let me talk to my people over here, and then um, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Hi, get your number? Oh, I, well, you know what? Um, somebody released something called Volume 1. Yeah, and it's only Volume 1, so I might have your email address next. Yeah, it's getting kind of personal. You may want to talk to Champagne Poppy. Okay, all right. Uh, I'll talk to you later. So, did you guys hear Pusha T come back? This is not a Meek Mill situation right now. This is not a Meek Mill situation right now. This is a real battle now. And DJ Academics, I always seem to bring him up because I do watch him. Uh, but he said in the beginning, I believe this was about last year, two years ago, that Pusha T would be Champagne Poppy Drakey, Drizzy, whatever you want to call him. He would be his kryptonite. And after hearing this, <laughs> it's about to get real personal, real personal. First, I was like, man, Pusha, why, why'd you go and mess with this guy? You already know he spit flames. Well, he, he, he gets written flames sent to him and he spits it out. You can't do that. And you know he's going to have high production. But did we all forget that Pusha's hooked up with Kanye? Did we all forget that? I think we all did. We all were all living in the moment. A hey, Wayno from Everyday Struggle, I, I I commend you because you told us it wasn't a body yet. You said, just wait, just wait. He will respond. Just wait. It wasn't a body yet. And you were right. So, guys, this is about to get ugly. It really is about to get ugly. If you haven't heard the Busher T come back to uh, Drake, you need to go take a listen. Because it was brutal. Like, he got so personal. He said, since you want to bring up my wife, I got a lot of stuff to bring up on, about you. And he claims that Drake has a son. And he doesn't see his son. And he's hiding his son because he doesn't want the public to know about his son. And why would he do that when his father left him at five? Why would he make the same mistake? I mean, guys, this is like, this is, this is getting real now. It's getting personal. I mean, I like it because it's just words. It's rap battle. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, with Takashi and Trippy, where you at? Where you at? All right, stay in Brooklyn, stay in Brooklyn, and then nothing happens. Like, it ain't none of that stuff. It's like, it's like some real good bars that are going back and forth. And you know what? Pusha said it's only volume one. Maybe Drake should. Yeah, sat back on this one because it looks like Pusha is coming out ready to push. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Man, Drake, I don't know. I'm going to have to say, 
because of the album and this disc track, I have to say Pusha Two Drizzy One, and uh, he kind of he kind of really went there and took it personal. Now I I can't wait because I know Drake's like, oh, you want to take it personal now? Let's go ahead and bring up some personal stuff about you. But he said, Ghost right in the side, drug dealer in the side. He's like, I don't even want to talk about it no more. I'm gonna hit you with this. Boom. Yeah, it's about to get real. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to Ash for our TV, guys. And go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. Click the subscribe button. Comment on what you think about that track. Tell me. Tell me what you think. If you don't like it, you don't have to get mad at me. But just tell me what you think about that track. All right, guys. See you soon.